Welcome to Middlesex Moments, the news and information program produced by faculty, staff, and students at Middlesex Community College. I'm Steve Minkler, Academic Dean and Lead Campus Administrator at the College and your host for these programs. As always, Middlesex Moments comes to you from the radio and television studios in the Center for New Media, located on the main campus of Middlesex Community College in Middletown. The purpose of Middlesex Moments is to give you a small glimpse into the programs, services, and courses offered by Middlesex Community College. You'll meet faculty, staff, and students, and you'll learn about the ways in which the college partners with businesses, agencies, and schools to create a stronger community for those whom we serve. In today's program, I have a room full of guests with me, and we're here to talk about the Honors Program, which was inaugurated in the year 2013 at Middlesex Community College. And first, we want to talk with the co-advisors and, and co-coordinators of the Honors Program, Dr. Eva Jones and the English Department, and Dr. Andrea Levy from the Psychology Department. Thanks for joining me today. And thanks for having us. Thank you. Now, Eva, you were part of the initial group that brought the Honors Program to Middlesex Community College. How did the program get its original birth? So um, when I first came to Middlesex Community College in the fall of 2012, former President Anna Wasesha wanted to really, she wanted to challenge some of the talent that we had here. She wanted to provide an outlet for students who were really excelling. And at the time, it, there wasn't really any place for that kind of challenge or academic rigor. So in that winter, in the winter of 2013, she pulled a, a core group of, us, of faculty members together to begin um, researching and crafting what is now the Honors Program. It's changed a little bit um, in terms of some of the course pairings and um, we have Dr. Levy who joined our, our program but um, we still ha we've been really successful at graduating students to competitive universities. We've been successful at preparing students for the rigors that lie ahead of, the, of them in their college careers. Okay, and Dr. Levy, no, for, informally known as Andy, you uh, joined the college in 2015, and your responsibility in addition to uh, advising students and teaching in the program is to lead the convivium. And what's the Convivium? Excellent. So the Academic Convivium is a day-long research fair that we have every April on campus. And it's basically a day where students have the opportunity to present the work that they've been doing, research projects of all different types, um, in a formal, almost professional academic setting. And it gives students the opportunity to experience this kind of professional environment. And it also gives the community, the MXCC community, the opportunity to both learn from this wide variety of uh, topics and to support the, their fellow students. And um, what are some of the key elements of the program, Eva, in terms of the classes that they have to take? Is this, uh, are there a number of required courses that an honor student has to take? Right, yes, there are. It's a two-year program. Students can apply mid-year to have a one-and-a-half-year programmatic option. The program primarily focuses on general education requirements. So students take um, English 101, the composition course, and English 102, which is composition in, lit in literature. They pair those courses with um, a sequence of honors seminars and history and psychology. So within the first year, students can take the first pairing, which is honors 101, the first honors seminar. English composition with general psychology in their first semester. The second semester features English literature and composition, U.S. History II, and the Honors Seminar II. The second year is uh, will focus solely on the students completing a capstone project, which at which they present their. It's a long-term research project at which they present. Uh, at, at the Convivium. So um, they work for a year on these projects and then share uh, their work with the campus community, with each other, and as we have here today, we have them coming back to reshare uh, their experiences and how, uh, and, and to tell everyone about how this program has helped them. Well, we do have uh, to take a short break right now, and when we come back, we're going to hear from a number of students who went through Middlesex's Honors Program and another guest student who's joined us who is an honor student at Northwestern Connecticut Community College. So when we come back, more with our students and more about the honors program at Middlesex Community College here on Middlesex Moments. Stay tuned. 
Welcome back to Middlesex Moments, coming to you from Middlesex Community College. This is Steve Minkler, and I'm speaking with the co-advisors of the Honors Program here at the college, and we'll soon um, meet some of the students who went through the Honors Program. But first, um, Dr. Andy Levy, uh, we, this is the fifth year of the program, and part of the idea of the Honors Program is to prepare students for transfer out. And how does that piece of the Honors Program work? Correct. So. Um, through their experience in the program, particularly um, in terms of their work in the honors seminars, students do a lot of work in preparation for transfer. We do a lot of work around scholarship application, um, personal narrative essay writing for, for their transfer application, understanding what types of things they need to be doing to make for a successful application, such as networking and extracurricular activities, leadership um, projects that we um, make part of the program that prepare them not just to have a successful transfer experience, but also to be more successful in their future careers. Um, so really the program is built around both academic enrichment and preparing for a successful transition to a four-year institution. And with us today are six students who've made that transition. And um, I'm going to ask each of you to briefly just introduce yourself. Tell us your name, where you're from, what brought you to Middlesex, or what brought you to the community college, and what, how did that prepare you for transfer and what you're doing now? So we'll start with Kendall. So my name is Kendall, and I live here in Middletown, like three minutes away. Um, I was part of the first honors cohort here um, in 2013. I graduated here in 2015, and I am now attending Central Connecticut State University. I came to this um, community college because I've heard great things about it, and I heard about the honors program, and I was interested in it because that's kind of where I wanted to go. I wanted to kind of um, strengthen my um, strengths. I knew I was um, particularly good at English, and I wanted to kind of strengthen that, and I wanted to kind of prepare myself for a four-year college because I wasn't prepared, I felt. And so being here really gave me that, you know, step in the right direction, and I feel like um, without coming here, I would have kind of been lost at, at Central. Okay. And what are you majoring in at Central? I major in elementary education. I minor in English. And you want to be a teacher, obviously? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'll be teaching um, one grades one through six, um, and I will, I'm also minoring in English, so I'm taking a lot of English courses as well. Okay, great. Uh, my name is Sabrina. I come from Meriden. Um, I currently go to Central and I am major, majoring in accounting. <clears throat> uh, one of the reasons I came here was um, realistically I wanted to have an affordable um, college career, which um, is for me, uh, I, <clears throat> a little side note, <laughs> I was born in Uruguay, I am undocumented, so I do not get financial aid. So I knew, and uh, scholarships are also very limited for me, so I knew off the bat um, it was going to be possibly uh, more expensive than other people. Um, so I wanted to go to a community college. Um, what brought me to Middlesex specifically was um, my uh, English teacher in high school. Um, I think she she was the one who coordinated um, actually a bunch of different programs from um, Middlesex to go and speak. Uh, and um, Dr. Eva Jones was there that day. And she, um, my English teacher actually was like, no, come speak to her. And she actually had me speak to Dr. Jones um, specifically after she gave um, her the information about the honors program. And um, I really did question whether to do it or not just because it, it is a more rigorous. But um, at the end of the day, um, it did help a lot with everything um, now. And um, I wouldn't have been able to get a lot of the opportunities that I did if I hadn't joined the honors program um, just because it, gave, it gives you a different um, uh, a different outlook, a different perspective on college. And you kind of uh, go through it a little bit differently than maybe a normal student who isn't in the honors program. Yeah, and you also were involved in other clubs and things like that when you were here on campus as well. Yes, um, so I ended up um, being involved in PTK uh, Phi Theta Kappa, which is the honor society here, and um, I was the treasurer, and um, I also um, tutored in English here. 
Right, um, my name is Seth. I'm from New Britain, Connecticut. Um, currently, I'm at Central Connecticut State University, where I study media studies with a concentration in digital film and television and a marketing minor in a potential economics double minor coming in, we'll see. Um, but uh, I came to Middlesex originally because I just didn't think I was cut out for a four-year university for a variety of reasons. Um, and I wanted to just kind of get in with a two-year and get out with a job. <laughs> that was what I wanted. And then um, once I got here, I became involved with the um, honors program and I became involved with the broadcast cinema program here and that kind of entrenched me in academics to a certain extent to where I definitely wanted to transfer as soon as, of course, I graduated. Um, and yeah, so I think the honors program definitely did kind of shape me to the more like four-year type person that I am now, <laughs> for sure. And was there something in particular maybe that helped that with that transition? Was there something that clicked in particular that you remember here? Um, I don't know. I guess just succeeding here, I think it is, because I didn't think that I would <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, but doing fine here like made it clear that I could probably do fine okay. at other places as well. Yeah. So give you that, so, yeah, gave you that, that confidence. confidence. And yeah. then, yeah, in addition to just being in the honors program like Sabrina, um, I was also um, in Phi Theta Kappa, I was the vice president, and I was an English shooter as well, and involved in film club and student senate, so it was a lot. Okay. Well, thanks. Uh, my name is Rhea. I'm from Torrington, and I actually graduated from Northwestern Connecticut Community College in 2015. I then transferred to Wesleyan University, which I graduated from studying sociology and civic engagement. Um, I graduated in December, and I now work there full time as their civic engagement fellow. So I originally went to community college because I needed something that was affordable, and I really didn't know what I wanted to do or what I was really good at or liked. Um, so that really helped me out a lot, and I joined a program that was similar to the honors program there, and uh, my mentors really helped push me and pull me. Um, it really helped me tease out what I'm really good at, as well as um, they really prepared me academically for Wesleyan. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think in being in a program like this gives you a sense of community and belonging with your fellow students? Oh, absolutely. Um, some of my strongest friendships are from that program yeah. still today. And now you've met new friends here at Middlesex, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah. Hi, my name is Maksuda Hamid. I'm from Westbrook, Connecticut, and I transferred from Middlesex Community College last year to Wesleyan University, where I'm now a McNair Fellow. Um, I was at Wesleyan, I'm majoring in molecular biology and biochemistry, and one thing that I really got from the honors program here is uh, the support from Professor Levy and Professor Jones, among the tons of other faculty who are involved, and as well as the flexibility to be able to pursue uh, things that I really enjoyed outside of the classroom, like research and um, competitive internships, as well as other things. Hi, my name is Ahmed. Uh, I currently go to Wesleyan University. Oh, we have a tie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I graduated from Middlesex in 2016, and I'm currently a math and computer science double major. Um, I came to Middlesex uh, mainly because it was an affordable option for me to attend uh, college. Um, I still have a lot of friends at Wesleyan, honestly, that tell me that I made the right move because they're stressed out about uh, the debt they're going to have, and, um, and I'm just chilling here. It's like, <laughs> hey, I'm a McNair Fellow. Okay. Scholarships galore. Um, so, uh, the honors program was very helpful in uh, helping me transfer to Wesleyan. I remember talking to Dr. Jones and several deans, and they basically guided me the whole way through, and it was really easy to talk to them, and um, I'm really grateful for joining this program. Well, thank you. Thank you all very much for that. One of the things we do try to promote, Eva, in this program for the Honors Program is that it is an academic enhancement to any existing degree program. Right. Honors isn't necessarily a formal major. It is something that students choose to do that's a little extra in addition to whatever it is that they are majoring in. So if you're a psychology major, you can be an Honors student, and the Honors coursework that you do helps you delve into that field more deeply. Mm -hmm. Right, so yeah, because we've heard we have people interested in education and accounting and media and science, and it, it does fit, it's compatible with all of those programs. So uh, Kendall, if you, you remember the Convivium project that you presented and, and what kind of led you into that project? The Capstone um, project, for, so we worked on that for quite a while, and I chose to kind of go in the direction of my major, so I kind of, centered it around education theory and the psychology that goes into it because there's a lot of different psych psychological theories that go into education, especially elementary. So I kind of 
dove into that thinking that this would actually benefit me in my future career and my four-year college. And so I focused on that. And when I presented it, I actually realized that I actually had something that seemed um, actually important in regards to um, writing a paper for Central. So when I graduate, I have to write a thesis paper. And I'm actually working on that. And I'm actually doing the same exact topic, just diving deeper. Okay, yeah, so it really became directly relevant yeah. to your bachelor's yeah. degree program. Yes. All right. Okay, well, time for another quick break. And when we come back more about the honors program at Middlesex Community College. Welcome back to Middlesex Moments, coming to you from Middlesex Community College. This is Steve Minkler, together with the faculty and students in our honors program at the college. Um, I actually have a question for Seth and um, Sabrina about uh, a video that you did as part of a project that was both for the Honors Program and Phi Theta Kappa. Tell us what that was about. It started out as a PTK project, a Phi Theta Kappa project. As we mentioned earlier, we we're both officers in that club or whatever you want to call it. And so part of that is there was two projects throughout the semester and one of them being the Honors in Action project. Um, and we kind of went back and forth on like a million different ideas trying to decide what that was going to eventually turn into. Um, and we eventually landed on making a video about sustainable energy on our campus here at Middlesex. Um, and as we developed that project, we all kind of came to the realization, both Sabrina and I and one other person, Zach, another member of the honors cohort, um, that we were putting in an awful lot of work into it <laughs> and it was taking up all of our time and that it would be rather ridiculous to then do an honors capstone project on top of all of that. So we decided to just kind of consolidate our, our efforts into making that a little bit of a two-in-one. I mean, I, I think it came out pretty well. Everyone seemed to enjoy it. <laughs> Yeah, so um, we ended up doing a video which was really helpful. Um, the, the campus here is, um, going, is trying to go green a lot. There, there's a lot of things that they're, you know, at least thinking about doing to go ahead in that direction. So it seemed very fitting um, to do a sustainable energy video. Um, and uh, we, like Seth said, we did a lot of work on it and um, it, there was no point in reinventing the wheel. So we ended up having to spend a lot of time together. We had to learn how to do teamwork, to. how to share speaking as we are now. Um, different little things, you know, learn our strengths, our weaknesses, um, and so that we can, uh, you know, compensate for, you know, the other person's weaknesses. And um, the video was ultimately a uh, very useful. We thought about doing a panel discussion at first, but the video turned out to be an be even better idea because it could still be used today. Um, so we were able to use the video for the, um, our PTK project and then just show the video again for the convivium and, of, of course, um, go into a little bit more detail, but it did um, turn out to be a very good option. Right, and the video was recognized at a PTK conference, wasn't it, as an outstanding project? I think it was. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I believe so, yes. Okay. It did get us our five-star <laughs> status for PTK, which was equally important. Well, <laughs> Very good. All right, now earlier today, before we uh, recorded this program, you were speaking with current honor students and telling them about your experiences. What kind of questions came up in, in your group, what, and what kind of advice did you give them? So one of the uh, biggest pieces of advice that I had for the students was to take advantage of the flexibility uh, that the honors program gives you. You know, it's flexibility with rigorous academics. So the flexibility allowed me to get an internship and that really put me ahead so much farther where I am now to the point where I'm getting paid to do research. And not only that, but I have a fellowship for my research. And weaving that into my capstone project, I was able to not only do it for myself, but share it with other people. And, and that just really um, put me so far ahead. Um, another question that people had was, how did the honors program prepare you for, for your institution? From my perspective, the biggest thing was having a very close relationship with your professors and different people who help you out throughout the program, like the deans and um, uh, the peers uh, in your class to help you out and you form communities. And when I transferred to Wesleyan, I kind of brought those skills with me. So I wouldn't be afraid to ask a silly question in class or go to office hours or just talk to like a couple, a couple of students near me and form like a study group. And um, the honors program really helps uh, Help me at least build a uh, learn how to build a community among the peers uh, around me, and it, I really carry these skills to a school like Wesleyan, and it helps out a lot. Okay, 
And Rhea, you, you're making all sorts of connections between Wesleyan and the community around the university, and that sounds pretty exciting. Yeah, um, so my biggest piece of advice to give to anyone is to make connections and make genuine connections with people. I'm sitting here in this room because I made connections with Middlesex people, um, and now like we're friends, so that's great. Um, yeah, I really think it's important to make connections because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how you can help that person or how they can help you. And having reciprocal relationships like that is really amazing. Okay. What are some other questions that the students asked you in this session? Kendall, did they ask uh, something that comes to mind? Yeah, they asked um, some of our biggest advice that we have for them right now. And something that I thought was important is if you guys um, feel like changing your major or your minor, do it now because um, so many of my um, fellow students at Central want to change their major or their minor and they're having a hard time doing so. I feel like here at Middlesex you are exposed to so many um, different connections and you have so much at your disposal that it's the time to do it is now because you know you're going to want to, when you get to a year four year college, you're going to want to um, not want to jump through hoops because they make you jump through hoops to um, fulfill you know, requirements and um, here at Middlesex, it's a great opportunity to do what you want and not make any, you know, mistakes for the long run. And how about um, anything, did they ask you about things that you wish you did do while you were at Middlesex or at Northwestern, something maybe you'd, you, you didn't take advantage of? They did ask that question. I think it was funny because most of us were just like, I think we did a lot here yeah. at Middlesex. <laughs> yeah. I think we kind of got our money's worth. You all, yeah, you all did. Um, right? <laughs> but yeah. I mean, my one regret is not setting my sights even higher than I did. I really didn't think that an elite liberal arts university would ever be right for me, and I was like shocked when I got in. Um, but that was what meant that I didn't apply to other places as well. And so, my another piece of advice I always say is like just apply as much as you can and see what happens. Okay. So imagine putting yourself back in your first day of school at the college um, and, and remembering what it felt like that first day sitting together with Dr. Jones or Dr. Levy or me, for that matter. What, what thoughts come back to mind? Like, and, and can you see the progression and the change in yourself from that day to today? So when I first joined, I was kind of really scared because, you know, you're given GPA requirements, you're, you have to take certain classes and get a certain grade. And it is scary because, you know, I wasn't, totally prepared for it and um, what I've learned is that the way that you grow is to do something you're not ready for because then when you're done you're like wow I did that and it kind of encourages you to do more things that you're not ready for because we're not ready for a lot of things that are gonna end great so that's something that I learned. Um, to pick, piggyback off of that um, I, I've always been a, a good student I guess we could say so but I didn't I was still I was scared of college or what it would bring um, so being there that first day was obviously very scary, but then, um, you know, as the days went by, it made it just, it, it definitely made it more um, comfortable, I guess, than I, I think it would have been for me personally if I hadn't joined the honors program. Um, I do, I prefer a small classroom than being able to interact more with people, and um, that was also a fear for me when I transferred, and um, I find that it's not the same for sure, but um, it's definitely something that, um, I'm still until this day. Um, I'm grateful that I did it because I feel like I got a different outlook at, on on the college experience than if I hadn't joined the honors program. I, I think in my situation, it's a little different because I joined the honors cohort uh, later on at my time at Middlesex. You know, leaving leaving out of high school, I wasn't the best student. I didn't really have too many opportunities for me. I, did, I really didn't know myself, and coming to Middlesex, it was a huge identity shift. Uh, going from a kid who gets 2.0s to like a 3.9, 4.0, it was totally different. And being able to grow and gain the confidence and meet so many incredible other people while just getting a lot done. And I think a piece of advice would just be like, just do it. Like, just get in here and do what you got to do. Yeah, I remember thinking um, that, am I going to have to talk every class? <laughs> uh, in high school, I just used to chill in the back and just take notes and maybe draw a bit. But uh, in the honor seminar especially, we would sit in this big meeting room and it was like everyone had to ask a question or make a comment or just, if like, it stood out if you didn't talk. And uh, again, the confidence that you, or at least I um, instilled that that was instilled in me from the honors program was something that I'm really grateful for too. 
But yeah, that was one of the biggest thoughts, just talking every class and really putting myself out there and not being afraid to voice my thoughts, my opinions, or just like what I felt about a certain topic we were learning. So now you've experienced studying and taking classes and being part of a community college and now a four-year university. And there's lots of people who probably might have told you back when you were looking at college the first time around, why, would you, why do you want to go to a community college? How do you react to that? I think specific to this program, um, the honors program that we're talking about today, not only just the academic rigor and all that, but mentors that you have like Dr. Jones and Dr. Levy, those you can't buy those. Um, so I think definitely like it's worthwhile, it's very worthwhile. And I, I would, I, Sabrina mentioned it earlier today, I recommend it to everyone because like I said you can't buy that sort of one-on-one -on -one personal connection, and especially at a four-year university that kind of goes down a little bit. You also kind of have to just learn to ignore some people and what they think because those are their thoughts, you know, like, People think they know everything, and it's just not the case. So if we kind of just go around the room one last time, if you uh, if, imagine a student is out there listening to this program, thinking about joining a program like the Honors Program, just a couple quick, quick thoughts, maybe a sentence on what advice you might give them. Kendall. Um, my advice is to take advantage of every opportunity given to you because um, you won't find this anywhere else, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I agree. You have to <clears throat> try it because it's really, it helps you so much in the long run, just um, in a bunch of different um, areas. And just say yes to every opportunity, like you mentioned, because um, you will be able to handle no matter what's thrown at you, you'll be able to handle it and it'll be so worthwhile in the long run. Yeah, just make friends with people. Come to middle sex. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest advice would be just to talk to everyone you meet. Uh, just uh, know their name, let them know your name and try to, uh, don't be afraid to take any opportunity you can or buy more than you can chew because there are people who can help you out with that and um, always take the leap if you can. Uh, thank you all very much and, and Dr. Eva Jones, the founding co-coordinator of the Honors Program, how can a student learn more about uh, the Honors Program and enroll here at Middlesex Community Well, College? the Honors Program has its own web page on the MXCC website, www.mxcc.edu. You can find on that webpage the Honors Program application form and lots of other Honors Program information. Okay, and uh, is there an open house coming up? Oh, there is an open house <laughs> coming the op up. The open house is on May 15th at 5 p.m. in the pavilion in Founders Hall. An RSVP would be lovely uh, to a Levy at mxcc.edu, but we welcome anyone who might be interested in learning more about the program. Well, on behalf of everybody here at the college, I want to thank Dr. Andy Levy, Dr. Eva Jones, Kendall, Sabrina, Seth, Rhea, Muki, and Ahmed for joining me today on Middlesex Moments. And as you heard, you can always visit us at mxcc.edu, visit us on campus at 100 Training Hill Road in Middletown, or at our Meriden Center located at Platt High School, 220 Co Avenue in the city of Meriden, where we have afternoon and evening classes four days a week. So for Middlesex Community College, I'm Steve Minkler, and we hope to see you again soon.